is this a nine rounder? Uh it's a nine round or eight rounder. That's tough. I'm gonna keep this in. More nude. <laughs> Sorry, you hold me. I mean I'm here all day anyways. That's kinda wild though. Not like I was going anywhere. But at the same time, damn. Morning, Krista. Or should I say afternoon? I'm playing here. I kind of feel like it's just hanger back walker. If it plays a boss, it's not good. College is not that good right now either. I don't really like doing just Ravager into an empty board. Yeah, I think it's just hanger back walker. I don't know, maybe I was supposed to like just run out the cauldron here. Start activating Urza Saga. But they are gonna make Rhinos next turn, most likely. It's Rhinos, I'm going back to bed. Bedge. Well, there's Rhinos. Bedge. Super bedge. Go up at four in the morning. To get 10 power put into play against me? That sounds about right. No, that just checks out. Uh, I should update the stream title. Monitor challenge with... Scales... Day two of thirty. There we go. Done. Alstrak token's just like not good enough here. I think I need to play Ravager plus B. I don't know. Like what am I grabbing? Probably second B. Just playing Ravager. We have a Shadow Spear. Which I could go grab. Well, now I'm forced to do this. I could double block over here. We'll just block with the B. I just block with the B and take eight. I can move the counters over. Up to three counters over. Mm -hmm. Very tough spot. Hide binder the Ozolith. Fire the hanger back walker. Dude. Have shadow spear. What does that look like compared to seconds of boss? Five. Make a five five life linker flyer. Just like try to race them in the air. It's not the worst. I also don't have to attack. I just hang back. I 
attack, I take two, twelve, I go to three. Leaves me dead to violent outburst. Looks I'm fine being dead to violent outburst. Actually, no, they can't have mutable plus violent outburst. Also, they have more rhinos coming off of suspend. I think it depends on what I rip off the top. I'm dead to Tide Binder. Ice is not good for me. I have to play Ravager. Soul Cauldron, Hangerback Walker. Self Sack. It's not good either. Also, Sack Soul Cauldron. No, I can't sack Soul Cauldron. Can I do 12 damage? I don't think so. I think the best I could do is Ravager. Ravager sack itself. Move two counters over to the Thopter. Eat Ravager. I make it an 8 8. Eat Soul Cauldron. Eat Ozolith. Eat Spear. Puts them to exactly one. If I don't eat spear, I can gain 10 life, which is not enough. Or 11, no, 10 life. I think I'm dead. Is eating the hangerback walker better? So if I play the ravager, eat the hangerback walker, put it on the ravager, sacrifice it, that's nine counters moving over. But I could also sack the soul cauldron, which would be. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. I think I'm just short any which way I cut it here. It's kind of crazy. Three, six, eleven. Okay, I guess I have one out here. I have exactly one out. And I still hope they have nothing. Literally nothing. I can make a 12 12 flyer. Oh, cool. Glad I tanked that long just to die. <laughs> take, 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 die. Block. Seven life. Puts me to 12. Besaju. This sucks. This sucks. I wasted like five minutes on my clock. Just thinking about this. But I did have one out, which was play the Ravager, eat the Hangerback Walker, eat the Shadow Spear, eat the Soul Cauldron, sacrifice itself, and then move eight counters over to the top token and put him at negative one. That was my only out this game. Instead, I have to like... Eat Soul Cauldron on Hangerback Walker, make this a 6-6, six, six, block, make it a 7-7, seven, seven, and then die, because I'm going to go up to 12, and then... What the fuck is this? Oh my god. Can you not? Spent all that time tanking. For what? When I was lithered too. I just want one here. Hangerback Walker might be bad in this matchup. I think Patchwork is pretty good. I like Ancient Stirrings too because it finds Chalice, Solus, Jailer, Stonebrain. I guess I can go down as a boss. Maybe down two walkers. Or down a soul cauldron and a walker. Soul cauldron's alright. But it's not great. Coffee? Yeah. Pretty tough. Morning Aztec. Speaking of tough. I need a sub count from the bot. But it's not gonna tell me, is it? Alright, well, two people sub while I was asleep, but they're resubs. 
Uh, Brickmaster with the 16 months. And uh, Nixless with the Prime. I appreciate it. So I guess the count's technically the same, huh? And doesn't have green mana, but it does have Jailer. I guess I keep it. Not like thrilled about this hand, but it's fine. If anything happens to this Jailer, I die though. So I can activate Urza Saga. Soul Cauldron's looking kind of embarrassing here. Were you last turn? Jail? What is this? Paseju? Not Soulless Jailer. That concerns me. Gales? Oh, it's gotta be Soul Cauldron. It's just more mana efficient. It's like, imagine. Kill him, Jailer. They have to have more interaction. They probably have Flame in Hand or something. I can force the issue, I guess. They can force a vigor. Now it's gonna be real sad for me. Yep. Make five five, say go. I made a main phase player on Tishinaz. Okay. <laughs> They're like one five five, I give up. Rhinos players when they see a five five. Get me the hell out of here. So much tanking every game just for the match to be decided already. <laughs> it's crazy. Yeah, I did a bunch of tanking to die. They did a bunch of tanking to die. And it's good. As long as I don't get forced. Lead on Ancient Stirrings. Let's see if maybe they force it. I'm gonna hold this Chalice until post-patchwork. It's kind of just like a free trigger for patchwork. Best possible. Until they force a vigor me. Honestly, if they force a vigor or Saga plus scales, I'm happier that they did it to that than they did to Chalice. So. Maybe this works out. But, I mean, there's no way this works out. I'm gonna hold this ballista for a turn. I could just make Patchy a 5 5 though. Don't force me, don't force me, don't force me, don't force me, don't force me. Cycles? I'm alive? I'm on a wiretap. I guess it's like afternoon for you or whatever. It, that's the play. That's the play. Tidebinder, my saga. Kick. 
I think I grabbed forest. The B. I think you have to hit, like, get a refresh and hit share. But thank you, Florent, for the resub. I appreciate it. Welcome back. That's a thick patchwork. Yay. Is that how I find out I sleep talk? I'm muting the microphone in case I say some egregious shit. I think last time I sleep talk, I said Mason Clark was good at magic. And ever since then, I vowed never to listen to myself sleep talk again. Is it TOS compliant to stream literally nothing? I've never read the TOS. Not starting today. Rhinos again. Okay, put 10 power into play. And I gotta see if I can beat that. I can't. Exclamation mark rhinos. Patchwork. Does Ink Moth give me an out? I also take the beam. I think I'm taking this ink moth. Is PayPal fine? Don't pay that man. Thank you so much. Damn. I tried to warn you. As I block here. I'm just gonna pop the hanger back walker. You forsaken me. Deshana's too. I'm gonna be sick. Yeah. Your turn. Patrick looks kind of sweet here. Until they make more rhinos. And I'm back to being dead again. Right click attack off out of the line. So I can block a rhino and I can block shardless agent. Take seven. I honestly don't know if that's that good for them. I mean probably. Are you telling me what the dog doing? I still don't know what the dog doing. It's been all these years. Can't tell you what my opponent's doing either. I only need one hand to play Rhino. <laughs> yeah, a little bit. Morning, Steve. Tang, 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 die. That's my specialty. I always wonder what these interactions would look like in real life. When your opponent just like sits there for eight minutes. <laughs> I just try to imagine it in like a paper game of magic. You're just like sitting there waiting for your opponent to like do whatever. They're just like on their phone, like scrolling Twitter. Oh. Oh. Uh huh. 
Yep. The old tank, 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 kill you. Three, five. Why did they take so long? Why did they take so long? Okay. That's cool. Why didn't you exile Walker to make Thopters? It doesn't do that. That's not its activated ability. Its activated ability is to put a plus one plus one counter on something. Or on itself. That's its passive ability. Which doesn't get carried over with the cauldron. When it passes the turn, you stand up and go to the bathroom without saying anything. I was like, surely we get to untap if our opponent's thinking that long. It was crazy that they even had, like, the Tide Binder for it, too. If it gave the passive ability as well as the activated ability, Soul Cauldron would be one of the best cards of all time. It's already kind of one of the best cards of all time. Card's insane. Yeah, it beats you to a Delta. Really good. Not good enough. This hand could be good enough. Alright, Jailer. Old buddy, old pal. I need you to put them in jail. Bitter Blossom and Yogg, you're onto something. Put you in jail, go. Alright, I need them not to have two removal spells. Really, they don't have two removal spells, right? FOV plus Tide Binder Welding Jar. Waiting for it. To be fair, we did lose game one against Rhino's last match as well. And we took the match. Augur of Skulls. I don't know what that does. <laughs> Sven already with the hot tech. What's up, Sven? Should have attacked him with a Jailer. Flame. If I flame the Jailer, I'm regenning it. They have follow up FOV also. Is what it is. I'll go back to spinning my glimpse fucking roulette. Alice too. Terminate your jailer. Where's the song from? Oh, it's near. Also, the music thing broke. I mean... Again, if they have... Flame plus... FOV, I can't protect against that. It's not really something I can play around, but I can't eat it all with a Ravager. Ice the land. Sure. Getting paid to watch me, let's go. Kind of winning, I mean, 1 0. I'm not going to win this match. So we have two lock pieces established. The ice was interesting. Like, I guess they wanted to take me off of the red from Zabaz, but I have a Ravager right here that I can just sacrifice stuff to anyways. So I get it, but I don't. I'm probably just cycling. It's not... I'm just going to let this go.
are you fine if they have flame bus f of you well, they would pop something and then i would i guess i would just let it go if they do the one targeted removal spell so if they like the thing is it's weird because if they kill jailer and i don't defend jailer and then this crashing for false comes off as of suspend and chalice goes to counter it and they tie binder chalice then things get a little messy we're at 143 right now it's almost halfway there but theoretically if i did let the first thing that gets flamed go then we'd be fine against flame plus fov but i'm just afraid of them tie bindering me and killing me Tidebinder is an insane card. And I really hate that of all places it got slided into, it was fucking Rhinos. Feels like they're dead here. Brotherhood's End? Maybe. Maybe they wanted to cast Fury. <laughs> I think Tidebinder's like a good... It's a well-designed card, but at the same time... It's strong. It's the Mystic Snake of Stifle. Very, very strong. Honestly, I think if it was just Stifle... It'd be, like, tolerable. The fact that it's, like, Stifle plus shuts it off for the rest of the time is wild. It would have been like a 2-2 two, two for 2 that just stifles. That would be kind of busted still. The Seiju Welding Jar. Alright, eat Welding Jar. Going for the kill this turn. Unless they have FOB, of course. Gives the boss flying. I guess I sw actually should have swung with Jailer as well. I only slept for like four hours. Hmm. This is weird. I sack the Ravager and I move the counters over to the Zabaz. I also in. Uh, I think I just let this go. Should sure they have FOV also? I think I want to preserve this Ravager. I think Ravager is too important. I don't think I would get the modular trigger from Ravager. Maybe I should have eaten the Nexus. I don't know. Eventually. Then it'd be a 4 4. Yeah, it's the scales. Here's the hardened scales. It's got a little snake on it. There's the FOV. Yo, Max, thank you for the Prime. I appreciate it. Up to 144. I knew they had the FOV. Just a matter of getting it out. And d -Lab, thank you for the Prime. Welcome back for the second month. Modular doesn't trigger, right? There's like no way. I don't think this works, but I guess we're going to see. And yeah, maybe we overtanked. I'm just getting another welding jar. So I can keep this chalice around. Oh, wait. Are they dead? This? Dude. I mean, theoretically, they're dead. But it's a matter of... It's giving your opponent 
life is better than losing life. Because usually when you kill your opponent, you're killing your opponent by like a mile. A second force would be very, very good. Well, they didn't make me sweat at that time. I guess that's the theory behind playing Grove of the Burn Willows, is that your opponent gaining, like, an incremental point of life or two usually doesn't make the difference, whereas, like, you taking an incremental point or two of damage might make the difference. Yeah, it's a creature combo deck. A lot of these lists have cut Grove of the Burn Willows completely, and they're just playing Pathway. But I don't like Pathway. Compared to Grove of the Burn Willows, I feel like you're playing Pathway on green, like, 90% of the time. And if you're doing that, you can lose access to red at some key points. And if that's the case, then I think I'd rather just have, like, the option of giving my opponent a life and still having the red as opposed to just, like, playing this pathway on green most of the time. Why not Ozlith? There's two copies. I feel like I keep this hand just because of the Ancient Stirrings, mostly. I don't really have a main deck right now. I've been playing a lot of scales, though. I would hunt a hate piece with those five cards. But no hate piece. On a red Obosh without Obosh. Maybe if Fury wasn't banned. No, I wouldn't even play that. I would just play this game if Fury wasn't banned. Ace. Like I'm gonna regret this when they force me. I okay. Ice you, force you, ten power. Some shit. <laughs> this is some shit. Maybe this hand was just too fair. Gotta play Scales, Ravager, Ballista. I definitely need to pump this to a 5-5. Five five. I think the Hanger Backwalker insulates me a little bit better. Yeah, too bad they have Violent Outburst. This was almost like looking pretty decent for us. Block, block. So the only way like Scam really wins the Yogg matchup now is that you kind of have to grief Scam them or just get super far ahead with Dothi first before they can get like meaningful board presence. Now I can play fair creature decks like Yogg Moth. Or Yawgmoth. Or Rhinos. Or Coffers. I 
Isn't Yuriko that like super busted ninjutsu card? Yeah, no, I'm good on that. Isn't that thing like OP as hell? I can see he's playing Legacy 2. I kind of wanted to dump the Blist in the graveyard so I just don't get Bowmastered here. But I think they would have flashed in Bowmaster if they had it. Horn Phoenix. Push. Funk Soul Cauldron. They don't want to get damnation though. I want to have something left over in case I get damnation. Are they just dead? Sack, sack. Three, five. I actually didn't even look. I just assumed they weren't. I had two counters over there. I could have put two counters on the Ravager. Two. I'm going to shrink by two. And I was one short. Actually, factually, one short. Well, now if I eat the cauldron. Now I guess if I eat the cauldron, I win too. Yeah, I did have lethal. I think it matters because this is still over. Yeah, I had lethal. Push. Good night, Frank. I guess they might have cling. But whatever. Cling doesn't even do it. It's not going to be good enough. Hit him with the one infect too. Um, I just like think this deck's poorly positioned because it doesn't have a great Yogmoth matchup, and it also doesn't have a great Amulet Titan matchup. But it's pretty damn good against everything else. I don't think I'm sideboarding at all in this matchup. I could take Stone Brain. I guess I'm taking Stone Brain and naming Karn. I want the Ozlitz. A couple of Ancient Stirrings. I could probably drop Ballista too. I think the real issue is Force of Vigor. 
Force of Vigor doesn't exist. That gets so much better. So, so much better. Yeah, it's like 23 lands, right? It's a boss and a walker. So I should have done this the other way. Should have gotten Walker and Dizabaz. Cause now I can kill Dizabaz with a Bowmaster while it's on the stack. I don't know if I'm supposed to name Karn. Corner ring. Oh yeah, man, you would love that board state. It was against Mill. And it was like one of the most complicated board states I've ever had. In the Discord, under like... I think it was the, the Modern channel? I don't know if I'm supposed to name Ring or Karn here. It's a tough choice. I also don't know if I'm even supposed to play this Ravager into Damnation. <clears throat> I guess Damnation is going to kind of get me no matter what. The only reason that was a complicated board state also was because Tibble had just cast a Crypt Incursion and he went up to 46 life. Got to deal 46 damage from that board state through two crabs. I didn't even do it correctly, but I ended up winning anyways. Arnold's doing a big thing. I guess I sack drum. Enzabaz. Do they get here? Plus is it? Start by drawing a card. I guess I should have done this pre-combat. That's really good because then I can play your Saga next turn and then Echoing Deep so I can just hold until I can copy Saga. Getting this Karn down to one's pretty important too. Now if they have Damnation, again, can't really beat that. Damnation's a really tough card to beat. For scales. There's that ring. Happy to have needled it. I think they're going to animate it with Karn now. At which point, I think I'm just... Flying over it. And the Thopter token. They're killing that Ravager. I just get to kill the Karn for free. Needle being amazing as always. Kind of crazy how good Pithy Needle is. Like always. Fatal Push Ravager. Make a Giga Chad Thopter. 
This is a two turn clock also if I do this. So I think it's better than making a construct. At the beginning of your upkeep, distribute two plus one plus one counters among up to two target creatures. With, without the monarch part, I don't know. That's eh, it's probably pretty good. I don't know. Maybe too slow though. March. Sky Ward. All right. Interesting game. Kinda. Cheaty face. I want to see this exciting conclusion of Big Brain Tron. Cascading cataracts. Give Golos a good spin. Alright, no dust, no Ugin. Karn, Karn, Relic. I don't think that's going to be good enough. Both sides brained hard. Both sides spun the wheel, that's for sure. Ice. Yes. <laughs> All according to plan. <laughs> this is how I beat rhinos. I just wait for them to ice themselves. Please don't force negation this. I really need a land drop. This is crazy. I beat these footfalls. Alternatively, the only thing they got going on is just a bunch of force negations. Which seems like the more likely outcome. Okay, kill a rhino. They have two cards in hand. Ah. Stop it. A lot of fucking rhinos. A lot of rhinos. Can't play around fire, so if they have fire, they got me.
What was this draw? Of ice didn't matter. What's up, Ants? Good morning. I've been boarding it. They got the Soul Cauldron. I think the two mana Ozla is kind of clunky. Probably cut as a boss. The Needle. Lista, maybe. I even had Gemstone Cavern on one. I lost that game. I'm just holding everything for post patchwork here. Slam the fruit cake about and do. Oh god. That wasn't meant for consumption. Yo, Jay Freezy, thank you for the prime and the 14 months. I appreciate it. Welcome back. I'm getting real sick of Rhinos, champ. They just kind of the worst. Ah, this thing for the prime in the three months. Appreciate that as well. Twenty six. They didn't ice their own thing this time. Weird. Didn't want to ice their own land. Heck. No bully, no bully. Unless they have Tide Binder. They're going to go back to bullying them. Alright, no bully. The B. Sure. I think I'd rather just get Patchwork back down. I could, like, besage this Mute Vault so they can't flame. I just don't know if I care too much. I think they would have used Flame if they had it. I think they would have used it on Chalice by now. Let the bullying commence. Alright. Game three against Rhinos. This one should be very difficult to win. Back on the draw. 
think I want this ancient stirring zin. Got a single hanger back walker. I just want to be able to ancient stirring zin the jailer or chalice more consistently. Or stone brain. Alright, stone brain, chalice, jailer in the opening hand with three lands. And a scales for good measure. Just a stone brain. How long have I been live? Check the uptime. What's uptime? Ah, 23 hours. Spike, thanks for the 15 months. Appreciate you, homie. I don't know if this hand's good enough. On the draw against Rhinos, like... I play Pendlehaven, Zabaz, and I could play turn 2 Stonebrain, then they Cascade make Rhinos. Or just pop the Stonebrain. If they have Force of Vigor, I lose on the spot. I've been sleeping, except for like 4 or 5 hours. Not enough, that's for sure. I don't know if his hand- Chad, you think his hand's good enough? I feel like it's not. But maybe I'm just like so rhino-pilled that I think they have it all. All the time, forever, always. Yep. Alright. We lose. We can just blame Spike, no problem. Have to run out the stone brain. Please don't FOV me. Please don't make rhinos either. Oh, ho, ho. Main. So much pain. Well, at least it wasn't violent at first. Glass half full. I don't feel like this is my fault that I've played against Rhinos three times in the past four rounds. Now we gotta make decisions. Low key, kind of ahead right now. Agreed. It's my fault? Okay. Do we think they have a Merc Ted? Kinda like Ballista plus Soul Cauldron here. Pump this thing to a 4-4. Four four. Start pressuring them. Maybe I'm supposed to hold the Ballista here because I do have the Ravager in hand. Watch out for second FOV. I'm not beating second FOV. Unless they have to hard cast it and they can't kill Patchwork. They would have done it on both Sagas. Aren't they dead? Unless they have FOV. It's actually the fourth goal for the streamathon for twelve hundred subs. Stream timeless. I'll download Arena for the first time in my life. I had a plan here. Play Ravager, Soul Cauldron, Zabaz, onto the Ravager, Self Sack, move the counters over, flying the patchwork, smack them, ping them.
Very based on board tricks. All right, figured it out. Based. Can we keep this? I think this hand's good. Decent anyways. Tortoise Lava Claw action. All right. Can do. Remind me in case I forget. Yo, Donnie, thanks for another five. Climbing on up. 157. Thank you so much, Donnie. And Fish Sauce, thank you for the sub as well. Uh, Yogmoth. I think I take the patchwork against Yogmoth. Appreciate it, Fish Sauce. 158. They could bowmaster this, which is like mildly concerning. Not rhinos, but not a good matchup either. Evidently, I should play Ballista out. Yeah, I even thought about it too. Good news is I'm getting a needle off of this. It means if I can dodge Yogg for a turn, we're in decent shape. A little bit. This one's also a pretty good start. Just gotta not lose the next like three rounds or whatever. Go boys. You're gonna get me a needle. So I actually just make a construct. The needle yog moth. Jam this past the turn. I can block Hapatra and then animate Ink Moth and then just eat the Hapatra. The next turn we can do some like pretty good stuff. Honestly, we're just kind of in the scales waiting room. We already reached the sub goal. We haven't reached any of the goals yet. What's the sub goal for Blank Emo? It's not happening. Sorry. Ah, Kanuma. Wrist. Good. We're gonna get to take out construct here. It'd be worse though, because I get the ballista, kill this thing, and eat it with soul cauldron later. I could also technically just take it out with the Ink Moth Nexus, and if I take it out with the Ink Moth Nexus, I'm not gonna eat it with the Cauldron and make an insect right away. It's not bad either. I think I like that line.
Um, it's coin flips and then the pioneer deck, I think. The next two. Yeah, I think I'm just blocking there. Are they dead? Maybe. Ozolith plus Ravager. Eat the Ballista out of the graveyard. I'm pretty sure they're dead. They're dead. Six. All right. Very cool. I want this dismembers, stone brain, a wire, two mana owes less expensive, stirring's bad, Zabaz bad. Patchwork's like meh too. Been like thinking about cutting it more and more. But uh hanger back walkers probably just worse. I cut two hanger back walker, one ancient stirring, one patchwork. The only nice thing about patchwork is that they just like can't yog it down very easily. Or like this. Nah, I don't really like jailer against them. While it can be okay, am I keeping this hand? I'm fucking keeping this hand. <laughs> Of course, I'm keeping this hand. What kind of question is that? It's called scales for a reason. Oh, it's called scales for a reason, buddy. <laughs> I don't care for Jailer in the matchup. I just think it's really slow. Also, it only stops like undying effects. From Young Wolf and whatnot. I'll let you eat my Urza Saga. I'd rather you eat the Saga than eat one of my four scales. <laughs> four of a kind. You can't win. Scales Exodia. Still gonna lose though. But it's cool. You're almost so good. But I can't play you into the Yogmoth. Play my Tarmogoyf go. Pretty beefy Tarmogoyf, though. I'd much prefer if this was a Ballista. What if every top deck was a Tarmogoyf? What if I drew Ballista? Eh? Oh.
I was so excited to see Patchwork on run him, run him face first in the Yog. Yeah, it's just like not viable. Unfortunately, it's gonna be a little one one. They pay two and they murder him. Poor guy. All right. Ballista. It's interesting. I don't know if it's good, though. I really need to draw a zero drop. I think I'm eating Ravager. Got quad scales, we can't lose. We draw a ballista here. I have to go patchwork. Dump ballista in the graveyard. Trigger. Eat something with cauldron. No. And they're leaving up two mana too. Patchwork go. Feels bad, man. We're just out of here. Patchy, you were almost so good. But instead, your disappointment. That's okay. Not everybody grows up to be a big and strong patchwork. Every time I open a stream, is out, you're against Yogmoth. You missed four Rhinos matches earlier. Or three Rhinos matches. This might be a few too many scales. Somehow I get another turn here. Even though I don't think I should have had another turn because they could just minus Grist and kill me. Welding Jar is not a creature. That was the Ballista turn. If we drew Ballista there... Whole oh, baby. Would have been sweet. This hand's so close to being good. Close. This Echoing Deeps was a green source. And it'll be immaculate. I'm trying to think of the logistics of like drawing a green source here. Probably not great. I'm going to keep his hand for science. Probably shouldn't, but... How's the Merfolk matchup versus Yogg? Pretty poor. I thought it was poor. Because they just kill all your fish. I'm thinking about playing this Saga on one. So I play Saga on one and they play Green Fetch Land and they fetch with it. Then I could get the Echoing Deeps, copy the Green Fetch, and then fetch the following turn. What do I even want to do? Did I not take a screenshot? Because it lost me the game. If it won me the game, I would have taken a screenshot though. Another saga. Yo, Sprouts, thanks for the hundred. Those count too, but thank you, Sprouts. I appreciate it. I can get a spring leaf drum, and that can make green mana. Unless they're going to go for a Fulminator. I 
Use this ballista to fulminate them back. I think this ballista is probably too important. I should just dismember. Then I can like soul cauldron. I don't know that kind of mana to do both. It's one or the other. You give something regenerate and you sacrifice it, it doesn't come back, right? That's not how regenerate works. Be sick though. I'm just eating this Fulminator. I said I didn't have to do it now. Buy Soul Cauldron. You were great all one turn I had you. Yeah, can you show for like one second? I'm gonna be mana efficient with that soul cauldron, which is why I played it, but maybe I should just play the scales. To be fair, I had no idea that they had a fulminator mage in hand or Rex Agent in. For one. A wire might. Can you chill? Let me have my scales. I'll prepare to go scales in the Ravager next turn if we rip land. Be pretty clutch. This baits them to eating haywire might and then sacking wall of roots and killing the stone brain. I don't know if that actually will bait them. I don't hate it. We're gonna eat my ballista. Honestly, I think I was right to take the land, even though I like messed up an F6. I think taking the land was actually good. Because if I went to ping this, then they just eat with cauldron. I can also put a counter on this thing now if they want. Or they can kill patchwork. Gonna kill Stone Brain. Actually, a tough decision for them. I hope they go after the Stone Brain. I think they are gonna go after the Stone Brain. I can't hit the patchy, this non creature. I guess I could have pinged it twice.
another one. Honestly, one of the least impressive cauldrons I've seen. Somehow we're in an okay spot. Definitely just take the haywire moment. Gotta get rid of this cauldron. Realize you're already gifted one. Yeah, Vade dropped like 50 subs the other day. Vade's a true hero. I can't believe this is actually an okay spot for us. Correct, Cody. Redeem it, send your link, and then I will play your deck. At some point. We got kind of a queue filling up right now. We have like coin flips, and then a pioneer deck. And we got a cube. Uh, stop it. a one hour YouTube video, I will not watch it. And I will refund you your points. Fortunately, I cannot sit here and watch a one hour YouTube video. Yeah, it works. <laughs> Yogg, you have to stop. Your Fulminator, too tough. Your Force of Vigor, too different. Your Rex Age is too bad. They'll kill you. True. I think they just drew Bowmaster. Cody. I hate when I'm right. They're dead. Maybe I'll click no. 4-4? Four, four. You're at 4. There's no way you can gain life. There's nothing good in the graveyard to eat. That exiles something, but it doesn't gain life. That is right, I did it. I am the worst. And we're banned for a reason. I think it's to stop people from, like, exploiting the fact that you can just leave your stream on and then walk away. For people that are, like, just doing whatever. Streaming stuff that isn't theirs. So, like, oh, I'll leave it on. Dip out. It's kind of messed up. Such a fast subtlety. Is that even worth it? I would love that Ozolith. Daniel Ecos is a great Merc type player, so I imagine they have a plan. But it's just interesting to like. Two for one themselves to save a Ragavan in the scales matchup. I feel like Ragavan is just so easily bricked by everything. I 
now comes the question, do I think they have counterspell, or do I think that they have removal? I kind of want to lead on Soul Cauldron. Maybe I just make a Construct. I think I'm going to make a Construct. Thanks, Peeb. One day down, 20 something to go. And it's going to turn on Delirium. They're probably going to exile a removal spell. Exile is a removal spell. Who could have foreseen such an event? My patchwork. I feel like maybe I grab Ozlith from Drum would let me more efficiently double spell. This is Drum. Put a card on top, which means it's probably gonna murder me. Merc Tide. Unholy Heat. I don't have another counter spell. Nope, it's a Merc Tide. I'm dead. This game did not feel close at any point. I guess I can play Ravager, play Soul Cauldron. Ah. Huh. Sadly, thank you for the gifted sub. I appreciate it. A block with Ink Moth. Fortunately, I have to block with the Ink Moth. Eat subtlety, shrink this by two. Exiles my Urza Saga, draws a card. Echoing deep, so I can play Ravager and then eat Zabaz, give Ravager flying. I play Ravager, Ravager, and sack one to the other. Yeah, I think I need to play Ravager, Ravager. It's really good. This is on Delirium. Alright, eat the boss, put it on this. And then... How big can I make this thing? I could eat Ravager, which is plus two, and then eat Spring Leaf Drum, which is six. I could technically trade for the Merc Tide, but I don't think that's a winning line. I 
I think I need to block the Merc Tide here. Oh, I meant to eat the Spring Leaf Drum. I'm an idiot. Whoops. I meant to eat the Spring Leaf Drum to keep that alive. Didn't matter. Just have another Merc Tide anyways. Oh, they voted Wara. Alright, didn't matter. Did not matter. But I messed up. I meant to eat the Spring Leaf Drum. I forgot. Alright, Soul Guide Lantern in. Ancient Stirrings out. That's all I do for this matchup. I'm really bored super heavily here. And subtlety was devastating. I guess it was the right call for them to subtlety after all. It was very, very good there. Got a scales on one. Kind of can't complain about it. Playing out Ravager over Ballista. It might just turn scolding it anyways. Aldrin stuck for now. I didn't think we were going to get this far. Did not think Aldrin was going to stick. list them. Kill the Raghavan too. It's cool because the Inkbot doesn't lose that ability just because Soul Cauldron is the one giving the ability. Very neat. Actually got to smack him for three there. I'm not even thinking of the Prime of the 21 mods. I appreciate it. Nope, never tried pre modern. Subtle team. I don't think I want to play in this subtlety. I'm just going to pass. Five counters. So I can animate Ink Moth. Eat Ravager. Or eat Raghavan. I think they're just dead to Ink Moth. In a video game, sure me. This is GG as is. Already GG. I don't have to do anything.
Plus, we knew they had the subtlety. They shocked it. That's that way they could cast it. Now that we know more about their configuration, do we want to change anything? They have Dress Down. I don't think I want Dismember. Soulless Jailer, probably not. Damping Sphere, no. Stone Brain, no. Hangerback Walker usually goes between 2 and 4. I split the difference and went with three. My build's a little bit unconventional compared to a lot of other scales builds. I don't care too much about Blood Moon. Amulet Titan's a tough matchup, and Yogg can be a tough matchup. I'm gonna dig this hand. Tron's hard? Really? I don't feel like Tron's bad at all. Just gotta kill him before they get Karn down. Just can't be super deadly against Tron. Mm -hmm. Turn one. DRC. Bobble. Surveil. I regret playing this Besager if they do Blood Moon Man. Got lead on Soul Guide Lantern here. Play it a little bit slower. Yeah, I wasn't supposed to give them something done. Holy heat. Possible that was a mistake. I definitely want to pop the Soul Guide Lantern before Merc Tide comes down. In's preordain. I think the worst thing I could see here would be like either Stern Scolding. Because I don't want the Automaton to get countered. Because they were holding up counter magic or representing counter spell. So I'm out with the Soul Guide Lantern. Very, very possible that they have Dress Down that they're sitting on. I don't want to just run out this Soul Cauldron. So I think they might have Stern Scolding. Unlikely that they have something like Spell Pierce, though. Not be getting Merc Tided this game. I'm just going to try to use the Soul Cauldron to control their graveyard. Prevent Delirium, prevent a bunch of instants and sorceries. I make the Construct now. So I make a Construct, I can eat. Sabaz. Grow it. I think I'm also grabbing Shadow Spear. Alternatively, it's like grab Hitting Needle. Name Engineered Explosives. That might be fine too. Or none of the above.
don't know how much they can actually attack with here. Depends on if they have a removal spell for patchwork. If they see a creature on top, they probably can't surveil it. I guess they could surveil it. But it's pretty awkward for them. Puts a card on top. You hate to see it. I don't know if this is correct. I'm just supposed to, like, block one of these two. I feel like I need this patchwork, though. Channel killed them through one both games. So sick. Ah, Vintage Cube. Because it also unlocks their mana, right? And I think I might be more afraid of them having blue mana than me not having green mana for the scales. Plus, I think I just need the patchwork. I I just took like a free block on the DRC. That's the downside. I was just thinking about EE too. Fuck. He's just insane for them. Challenge is going better than yesterday's and it's still not going great. I was even thinking about trading for the Raghavan too. Hindsight, I suppose. That's a good EE. this game that's pretty frustrating I just played this game too slow this though Might as well be land, though. That's correct. Dog, huh? What the jog doing? Oh, four color, not jog. Nah, there's one more round of the challenge after this. What? What in the Risen Reef? If you're about modern Winota, I played it a few times. It's fun, but it's not good. It's pretty fun to put like multiple guys honored monks into play, but it's definitely not good. There's a prismatic ending that they're failing to cast. Edge, maybe.
Unless they have solitude. Ephemerate my halfling. Dies. Refuses to elaborate, dies. Um. Yeah, what do you think we want here? I think nothing. I like how this deck's also sorted by color. I sorted by cube deck by color, and now it's sorting scales by color. <laughs> Krista piles. Sort by Krista piles. Why do you play both Jailer and Chalice? Just differentiating the threats, because Chalice is weak to Tidebinder, right? Whereas, like, you can still Ancient Stirrings for Soulless Jailer. So it's just diversifying the threats against Cascade. So you can like semi-tutor it with the Ancient Stirrings. That might be good. I feel like Dismember's like overboarding. I don't think that's where I want to be. I'm not even sure if I care about Omnath gaining a few points of life here and there. And slow, but I'm going to keep it. They're very good at opening halfling. Centaur Courser. Might be a bit of an issue. What I was worried about, our hand is really slow. Let's kill with the Ink Moth Nexus like relatively fast though. The thing about killing with Ink Moth Nexus is that it's just super weak to Solitude. Dude time? Yep, fine Solitude. Let the Risen Reef resolve. So, for I draw a land, can I kill them? Maybe. A lot of ballistas. A lot of ballistas. So I'm going to use one to kill the Risen Reef. That way that mini engine is offline.
I think I'm gonna drop another ballist in the graveyard to grow this thing to a 5-5 five five so I can block Omnath. And if I draw a land, they're dead. Kind of a big ass, though. This also involves them having nothing. Three, four, six, seven. That's not nothing. They didn't do the part where they flood out and they draw absolutely nothing. Nah, that's not flooding out. Kind of hard for them to flood out when they have Nissa, though. I was gonna find another solitude. Do we want it to die when blocking? I don't think so, because I think I just need to draw a land plus Ravager, Ink Moth, and hope they have nothing. They found that off the Nissa. I don't want this walking blister to die. Attack, give me three, six, man. Okay. Evidently. I haven't seen Risen Reef and Nissa in forever. Surprised our opponent's still playing it. I don't think we can get there now. I think we're short. That didn't matter. We didn't draw the land. Yeah, maybe I do want this member. They're also playing Nissa. Kind of awkward. I don't think Hanger Backwalker lines up particularly well against four color. Most of their removal is exile based. Yeah, I wasn't sure we needed the dismembers at first. Because it didn't seem like they were playing all that many threats, but it turns out they definitely are. The hand gets us anywhere. This one's got some potential. Depending on how many pennies they draw. No halfling? He's halfling? Oh, it's Aplan. Am I pending for this Ozolith? I don't know how big of a deal if they do. Here's the halfling. Off curve halfling opponent. I think I'm gonna kill this halfling. Oh. Well, that probably just killed me. F. Yeah, I think we have lost this game. It's not over. But it kind of feels over. I need my two engines. Be down. Ballista would be these. Force of Vigor is such a blowout all the time. That's pretty good too. All right, let's take a second to think here, because we can eat halfling and then we st can make extra mana. If we eat halfling, make extra mana. Pop, z I guess, eat zabaz. It's three counters, four counters. It's not enough for a kill, that's for sure. 
ballista in the yard, then we'd be super chilling. I don't think Soul Cauldron was a bad draw, though. I want to eat your halfling. Oh, good. They pop cauldron. I think they should have popped cauldron. Now I can eat my Ravager. And then maybe like cobble together a win here. Alright, well surely they won't have Solitude, right? Surely they won't have solitude. Back to modern. Let's give Daniel Akos the free win. That's because they were undefeated. So they're locked for top eight. So just scooped him in. Realized last night I'm a toxic magic player. I don't even ask people. I want to hold priority on the stack when casting spells because I'm a bad man. Bad intentions. Just trying to make sure I'm crushing dreams one priority pass at a time. As you should. Billy. As you should. I think turn four is my fastest kill. Also not the removal though. I'm gonna try to ancient stirrings for soul cauldron. So I can soul cauldron a ballista. I just looked at this hand. That same like five off the ancient stirrings. Your copy of MTGO. Yeah, you got the the big deal MTGO. Billy, I'm gonna play some Legacy Burn at some point during the subathon. So I know how much you love Fire Blast. To be where the packs are sent to other players randomly instead of assigned order. That'd be kind of cool. You could actually like have four copies of something in your cube deck. <laughs> I have four copies of four Theralingus in my cube deck come at me. We started blasted again. Nothing would make me happier. Might have to. For good old time's sake. Eleven cards left.
kill me, I'll die. Alright, maybe they have nothing relevant in those three cards. <laughs> Ate a bunch of dairy yesterday. A classic blunder. Just couldn't help yourself, huh? I don't know where we are in the standings. But I do know Mill is terrible. Awful matchup. I think I'm just bringing in Dismember. And I guess Haywire Might's fine too. Where are we in the standings? 44. Alright, chat, I'm gonna run to the restroom real quick. Oh my opponent sideboards. Okay. Time to lose to Mill. Sounds fine. But like Dingo Feet. You're not allowed to look. That's paid content. <laughs> It goes minus one soul cauldron. I think I'm gonna needle field the rune. Play patchy, needle field, smack in for three. Not let my Urza Saga get fielded. I think the plan's the same. Turn to a Tom Tom might have been better. I went turn to a Tom Tom. Turn three. Scales needle B. This thing would have been a seven seven. Yeah, I should have done that. You're right. But I wouldn't be attacking for three right now. I'd be attacking for seven. <laughs> yeah, that was way better. I missequenced. Right, you right. Double field of rune. Pithy Needle doing the Lord's work right now. So that hit why might. Oh. Rips beside you like a Chad. Doesn't even matter, I guess. Yo, Zib Zab. The B Buzz. Thanks for the nine months. Buzz indeed. I'm gonna hold on to this Paseju. I wish I could pop Zabaz here. Actually force the block. Good news is that this Besage is only one mana. Bullying the crab? No. They could still kill me. All it takes is like one Tasha's. Oh. No. Don't Tasha me. Oh, that's whatever. What's up, buddy? Mills me for three. I'm down to 22 cards. I swing both. They have to block here. Pretty much no matter what.
Just the biggest patchwork. The biggest patchwork to ever work. Can you stop with the bridges? I need a ballista. E on one. Rose. I don't think I'm going to be able to beat the third ensnaring bridge. I could take a draw here. I don't even know what I'd be hoping to draw to. I guess Ballista would have killed them. If I took a draw. And it was Ballista. Yeah, after this challenge and cube's over, I think I'm going to take a little nap. For a few hours. These early morning challenges always kill me. Yep. The 4 a.m. Pacific. Ugh. I don't think I'm getting Jar. I don't know, the Surgical Ravager. Which means I need Ballista. Plus... I'm getting another Ozlith. I decide to pop this EE now. Might just be dead. I'm just dead. Not right. And that's the modern challenge. Tuffy. I'm gonna run a prediction though. Prediction. Will we 3 0 cube? Yes, no. Have you peaked? Bing bong, bing bong, bing bing bong. Have you peaked? You're a third rate duelist. I can't take it anymore. <laughs>